Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to day number 17 of my green smoothie challenge. This is going to be going on for the next 100 days, and I'm going to be featuring a green smoothie as well as my exercise and my step regimen. So I'm glad that you were able to join me thus far. So like I said, I've survived 16 days so far, so I'm doing pretty good. All right, so this is my smoothie of the day. It consists of two apples, two Halo's oranges, and uh, also a cup of red grapes. So this is what it's consisting of along with three cups full of spinach, two cups of water, my vegan protein powder, and my flax seeds for more fiber. So this is also very jam-packed. I've made plenty to last me throughout the day. This is just my breakfast before I head to the gym. Okay, just stepped off the bus. And now I'm actually going to get my cardio in. See, I have to keep an eye on this van over here because it's backing out and not watching where the fuck they're going. Uh, sometimes people like dr drive like assholes here. So yeah, that's kind of a little problem. So anyway, I uh, just stepped out the bus, doing my 20 minute walk to the gym. And then I'm going to do the treadmill or the bicycle today. I haven't decided, but either way, I'm going to get some steps in. All right, folks, I have arrived at Planet Fitness and I am getting all geared up for cardio day. I'm going to be kicking some ass on that treadmill and I'm going to be taking names. All right, you guys, I'm all done here at Planet Fitness for another well-deserved workout. Couldn't get to the red light therapy, but that is okay. I went to the massage bed and it felt really good, so my whole body feels very relaxed, and now I am on my way to work. So I'm sitting here taking a little break before work, and I'm gonna be drinking a little bit of my green smoothie, my little Wonder Woman water bottle, and uh, drinking some of this bad boy right here. That way I'm hydrated during this weather because, you know, my job actually takes a lot of energy and a lot of work and uh, sometimes you just gotta stay hydrated guys all right just got done uh with work i'm here on the number nine bus headed into downtown and tonight i am actually going to be manning the phones for basic rights oregon and it's going to be kind of a long evening well actually i'm probably 30 to 8 30 so about three hours manning the phones and so I'm just taking this long bus ride on the number nine, but it beats taking the max right now, especially with the traffic going on at five o'clock. Okay, you guys, I just got done volunteering at Basic Rights Oregon, just got done with the phone banks and sending a few me emails out to the volunteers. And um, a lot of the people on the phone have actually been nice, except there was this one person who was just complaining and complaining and complaining about how things aren't getting done and uh, they're feeling disenfranchised and all this other shit. And here I am, I'm wanting to be a good ally and just listen, but there was that part of me who said, who just wanted to say over the phone, but I was thinking this, but I didn't say it out loud. I wanted to say, if you feel disenfranchised, do something about it and get, get up off your ass instead of bitching and fucking volunteer for shit. But, you know, I never, I did not say that. I did not say that on the phone because I knew that would be unprofessional. So I kept my thought to myself. But this is just how I feel about things. If you feel disenfranchised and you feel that, that nothing is going to matter no matter what you do, you're part of the problem. That's what I think. And if you're part of the problem and you're sitting on your ass and complaining, then you know what? Don't be surprised if things don't go your way. And, and that's just my two cents. So instead of bitching and moaning and complaining, get up off your ass and do some good in your community and volunteer for something. Maybe it will help you bitch less. I don't know. But it will fe make you feel better knowing that you're helping your own community out. Well, I just got home and look what came in the mail for me today my corset that I got for 20 bucks off a of wish. Now, this is supposed to be a steel boned corset. So here's a little test I like to do. This is a little magnet. And if this little magnet is sticking onto the boning, 
and definitely not coming off. This means it's spiral steel boning throughout all of it. And I'm going to assume that that it's spiral steel throughout. So, and it also looks like it is really awesome quality too. And look at this. I mean, it's double reinforced on the insides. So, I cannot wait to wear this. And I have to say, it's not a bad deal for 20 bucks. Well, folks, that concludes yet another video of my 100 uh, green, 100 day green smoothie challenge. Um, if you would like to follow my adventures during this next 100 days, you know what to do. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Spread the love, hit the share button. And uh, if you like what I'm doing on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, also, if you want notifications of how many videos I'm going to be doing over the next 100 days and when I'm going to be uploading, you can always ring my bell because I like it when you ring my bell. Also, if you want to follow me and my other socials, you can do so at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and even Ello. And you can do that all in one place, and that place is at fatmiddleagedgingerpdx.weebly.com. Well, folks, I'm signing off. Thank you for joining me on my green smoothie adventure today. Um, I'll see you beautiful people tomorrow. And until then, be sure to stay healthy, stay beautiful, and be good to each other. Love your faces and have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.